For the Modern Fantasy Bookshare, I've chosen Modern, I'm sorry, I've chosen Snowman at Night, and it is in the Modern mm -hmm. Fantasy, the uh, World of Toys and Dolls. And it is by Carolyn Bueller, or Buner, and then the pictures are by Mark Buner. One wintry day I made a snowman, very round and tall. The next day when I saw him, he was not the same at all. His hat had slipped, his arms had drooped down. He really looked like a fright. It made me start to wonder, what do snowmen do at night? I think that snowmen start to slide when it gets really dark. Off the lawn and down the street, right into the park. They gather in a circle while they wait for all the others, sipping cups of ice-cooled cocoa made by snowman mothers. Then the snowman games begin. They line up in their places, each one anxious for his turn in the snowman races. After everyone has had a chance at racing once or twice, they go on over to the pond to do some skating tricks on ice. Sometimes they start giggling, and then they act like clowns. They bump into each other till they fall, fall down. They gather up their snowballs. The pitcher takes his aim, and underneath the moonlit sky, they play a baseball game. No one knows just how it started, but soon it's quite a sight, with snowmen throwing snowballs in the world's best snowball fight. Then it's time for sledding. It's a wild ride down the hill. Yahoo! They yell. This is by far the biggest snowman thrill. Finally, they're tuckered out and getting sleepy, so they slowly gather up their things and one by one they go. So if your snowman's grin is crooked or he's lost a little height, you'll know he's just been doing what snowmen do at night. And that's the end of the book. Um, I picked this to be in the world of toys and dolls because the author gives um, the snowmen human-like qualities so they're able to slide and they're able to drink cocoa. Um, and there were 10 made events in this and the the child made the snowman. The snowman melted. Um, they slid down the street. They drank cocoa. They raced. They did skating tricks. They played baseball. They had a snowball fight. They sled and then um, they go back into the yard. And then the next morning he finds him again. Um, I picked the theme to be creativity or imagination just because um, throughout this book there's not really a huge moral story but um, I think sometimes kids are losing their creativity, so this book allows them to kind of think on their toes and um, what other ideas could the snowmen do and what, what could they do at night or what do you think snowmen do at night. Um, so I thought they did really good at that. And then the illustrations are all full page. and um, But not only is that, the text changes places. So it could be down low, up high, and then I really like how when they go sledding, it's like down a hill. And then they use bigger letters sometimes, but I feel like this book um, would be really useful in the classroom for imagination, creativity, and I think the students would really like it.